Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. A very good morning to you all. Here we go with a little bit of a delayed breakfast club coin hunt. Unfortunately, I didn't really get much sleep last night. I think I was definitely waking up more than what I was sleeping. It got a little bit close on time to get to work this morning, so I didn't do any videos before work. So again, now that I am back from work, we are going to start with the coin hunt that should have gone up this morning. It's just a £50, 50p coin hunt to get us going and hopefully find a few commemorative coins along the way. I actually brought one commemorative coin back from work with me as well. It's an absolute beauty and you will see that one in the next video. When it comes down to commemorative finds, whether it's a 50p £2 or whether you've been lucky enough to find one of those alphabet coins, please do comment them below so I can give you a shout out in that weekly community coin hunt find video. That video is definitely going up today. We're going to be seeing what amazing finds people have had on the channel. And again, they have been better than what we have been lucky enough to find this week. The first coin though from this £50 is the Paddington outside St Paul's Cathedral. No surprise to see that Paddington in the coin hunts again. We have actually found close to 100 Paddington St. Paul's so far this year. And it's probably going to be 200 by the year's end. Coin number two though, it's a beauty. A really nice condition coin here. The 1918 representation of the People Act. Always nice to see a coin in near uncirculated condition. It really does stand out from the rest, especially in the lighting in this room. What a coin find that was in this third bag whilst we get to the end of this one with just some britannias don't forget guest hands coin was back yesterday there's two more coins up for guessing over the course of the next two days a huge shout out to andy vickers he was the only man to guess both of the commemoratives correctly in the last round he's now got a four point gap back to 11th place which is norman graham I'm sure he's going to try and catch some of those points back. Coin number three and coin number four. We've got ourselves a double bagger. You never know, there could be more to come. Coin number three was the Miss Tiggy Winkle and coin number four was indeed the Victoria Cross Heroics Act. One of two Victoria Cross coins to be released in 2006. The other is the Victoria Cross medal. A few of those have been turning up recently. Some of my favourite coins and I'm definitely not complaining when it comes down to finding them. Four from four then, we've still got one bag to go. Can we make it five from five with the remaining bag? Apologies if there is any loud squealing in the background there. <laughs> oh, on to the last bag we go then. 20 coins, can we find another one? We start off with the Shields and Britannias. Again, if you have found any commemoratives, hit them there in the comments below. And the next video is an absolute cracker that I managed to find at work. Three coins to go then, and we'll see the coins that we have found. And we'll also see the star find of the coin hunt. So, first of all, we had the Paddington outside St. Paul's Cathedral. One of four Paddingtons for circulation. Next, we had this 1918 representation of the People Act. A stunning condition coin as well. Coin number three is the Victoria Cross Heroics Act. And coin number four is the Miss Tiggy Winkle. This one is going to be quite a difficult one. I really do like the Beatrix Potters, but sometimes finding a coin in this condition wins it for me. The star find is the 1918 representation of the People Act. Please do hit your star find in the comments there, and I really do hope you all have a lovely sunny day. Stay safe, fun as always. Thanks for watching.